Matrix 4 is a design and manufacturing house, and it's four phases in one house. So design, engineering, tooling, and manufacturing. It was a pretty traditional business model that we've completely evolved to get more focused on the front end design and development with 3D printing and engineering, and then to be able to support full production on the back end, all in the plastics um, sector. There's been so many changes in the business since I took over. Um, essentially, it was operating at 10% capacity and cash flow negative, and there was so much that we needed to change internally and externally. The business model that was in place from the 1970s doesn't work anymore. So we've done complete cultural change, uh, added on several employees, cleaned the place up from the inside out so the wood paneled walls of 1970 are no longer there, um, painted all four walls, brought in 3D printing technology, I really started to look at strategically where we want to go and pivot the company, completely rebranding, um, looking at getting involved from an industry level and associations and what's going on in the community. Um, and, and also reconnecting with customers and where our new customer growth was going to come from. The makers movement is really important to Matrix 4 because we're looking at a very boutique structure and manufacturing and being able to support the small maker as well as the big maker. So a lot of companies that are really looking at a million dollars or a million widgets going through the door makes sense, but there's also the small maker that's doing something outside the box or innovative that doesn't have the volumes but needs a manufacturing partner. And we want to be that partner. Um, to those makers. As an industry overall, I think we've really taken a step back to see where is manufacturing in the U.S., what's viable, how do we innovate and progress to make sure we can stay competitive in a global economy, and the makers movement is a central part of that. Matrix 4 is becoming more involved in the makers community in a lot of ways. One, um, getting engaged with innovators and the incubation spaces that are here in Chicago and in the Midwest. DMDII just hosted their opening event a few weeks ago. We're a member of that space, um, getting connected with makers big and small, um, as well as some of the others that are looking at things from design, prototyping, being able to support them on the upfront, but then also give them a venue to manage manufacturer on the back end. I think there's a lot of opportunities in manufacturing. It's an interesting time to be in this space because I think we're defining what manufacturing is in the U.S. How do we incorporate technology? How do we incorporate innovation? 3D printing is still being decided. How does it become an integral part of the business model? Um, but more importantly, how do we ensure that we can keep a sustainable industry in the United States?